looks like got a little mark too. Has it? Oh, somebody, oh yeah, somebody marked it so they could find it. What's up, creepers? So today we're back in downtown Portland and I got the official proper attire on for today's vlog. If you guys have followed my channel, you know how much I love The Simpsons. Um, I got my new buddy here, Oscar, right? Yeah. Oscar's a true friend right now. We searched high and low for about, oh gosh, close to 10 minutes. About probably. 10 minutes or so trying to find this brick. We are in the heart of downtown Portland here at Pioneer uh, Square and they've got a little thing here where you can donate a brick or basically give a brick to somebody and they will etch the name into the brick which I'll leave links to in the description and everything like that but I wanted to take you guys around Portland today and dive into some more of hidden gems around town and me and Oscar here he helped me high and low. In fact, I'm going to give him props because he's the one who actually dialed it in. But we found the Homer J. Simpson brick, which I'm incredibly excited for. So let's check this out real quick. It's a little hard to see because, like I said, the bricks are a little uh, worn throughout the years and whatnot. But Oscar's got his good eye, a better eye than me. Okay, so now, we, I, see, now I already lost it. Oh, right, right here. Very cool. If you guys ever come into Portland and go down to Pioneer Square, you'll be able to check out a plethora of bricks, but more importantly for today's vlog, the Homer J. Simpson brick. And the whole time I was looking for it, I found a couple and I was like, no! So we were, we were signaling him in more ways than one, but I gotta thank my good buddy here, Oscar. You guys rock very much and I hope the a little bit of coffee money helps for helping me do this today. I appreciate that, brother. But we're gonna keep creeping around Portland and find some more of these little hidden gems, so stay tuned. See you guys soon. So I made my way back down here to the bricks at Pioneer Square, and look what I found. Margaret Graining, that's right, Matt Graining's mom. Got a brick dedicated here back in 1981. If you guys can see the name familiar there, Margaret. That's right, Marge. Matt resembled a lot of the characters, including his own family, after the names of his own family to be used for The Simpsons. But check that out, Margaret Graining right here. And when I pan away, you guys will be able to see literally the needle in a haystack. It took me forever. Each one of these bricks are dedicated to somebody, but I was not gonna give up. But right here in Pioneer Square, another little Simpsons relic, very hidden. Stay tuned. All right, so we are standing here at Kenny and Zook's, one of Matt Groening's go-to restaurants when he comes to town. And if you guys can see down here, Homer loves the pastrami. That's right, mmm, Kenny and Zook's. The pastrami, gargle knife. <laughs> Best wishes, Matt Graining. February 9th of 08. Very cool. Welcome to Lincoln. That's right. We are standing right outside the doors to Matt Graining's high school. That's right, Lincoln High, home of the Cardinals, Matt Graining did most of his doodling right inside these doors. And in fact, we came back, uh, we came here about, oh, about a year or so ago and met Mr. Burns, that's right. Better known to the teachers and kids here as Mr. Bailey, who is now retired, but it was actually the inspiration for Mr. Burns, that's right. C. Montgomery Burns, excellent. We crept in here and was fortunate enough to catch Mr. Bailey while he was still here, but over the years, people have said, or maybe it's a myth, because Mr. Bailey is an awfully nice guy, um, and Matt has actually referenced that before, that maybe he looked like Mr. Burns, but his attitude was definitely not like Mr. Burns. But yeah, check this out, you guys. Lincoln High School. And they just celebrated, I believe, their, gosh, 75 years, maybe even longer. And Matt actually came here and did a speech for the graduating class. But Matt was a cardinal himself, and there has been many of tales of his drawings and doodles came right here out of the school. 
and Matt didn't live too far from here. Like I said, I've done a lot of Simpsons vlogs, so if you guys want to go back out and check some of those out after this vlog, I would really appreciate it. But yeah, a lot of Matt's characters and doodles happened right here inside this school, Lincoln High School. So how cool is that? But right down the road here is another little hidden, hidden Simpsons gem, and that is a Bart Simpson that is etched into the sidewalk. And it's not actually done by Matt. Um, things got misconstrued over the years and people thought that Matt actually came back and did the etching himself, but it was actually done by another Portland artist, which I'll leave links to and everything. Uh, but we're gonna creep not too far from Matt's old stomping grounds here at Lincoln and go check out that BART. So I'll see you guys here in a second. tore apart which is a good thing because they are I believe building a new Lincoln High School but on a very misfortunate note since they expanded everything outwards onto the sidewalk here and actually constructed a newer pathway it looks like some of the old sidewalk still exists but basically right about right about gosh i'd say like maybe just in this little vicinity here because i i remember these this old school sidewalk basically right around in here would have sat the bart simpson etching what i was telling you guys about i believe it was in this center right piece right here um i could be wrong but there was for many years a bart simpson etching here class of 72 it was actually not done by Matt, but a different artist at the time that was known in Portland for a lot of his work um, did it for the arts project here and the transportation project throughout Portland when they decided to run the Max line through here, which is our train. But it looks like they covered it up. So there is no longer a Bart Simpson here, but I'll definitely leave some screenshots of our previous uh, creep up here so that you guys can take a look at that but for many years it was definitely a hidden gem right here in Portland sad to see it go but I'll definitely leave you guys some screenshots so you can at least see it all right so we are back over in southeast Portland now we were just downtown creeping. I hope you guys enjoyed those little hidden relics. Um, but it's pretty funny as you're out and about doing things, you don't realize awesome, all the awesome things that you might see or have seen in the past but kind of forgot about. And right here is one of them. That's right. Boom, check this out. That's right, we got Millhouse kicking it here with this skateboard. And it looks to be like a little skate park here, Commonwealth skate park where we got your boy Millhouse, Bart's best friend, just chilling right here on the garage door to this incredibly cool skate shop. And whoever painted this did a great, great job. That looks exactly like Millhouse Van Houten or Van Houten, which Van Houten Street is actually here in Portland as well. But how cool is that? Gotta love the Simpsons still creeping around Portland 30 years strong. Pretty cool. Walking through, found this gem. Moe's Tavern, Moe speaking. Holding the duff there. All kinds of little hidden Simpsons relics all over the town. Pretty cool. All right, so we are back and we are creeping around inside the Lloyd Center Mall, which isn't too far from where we just were. But I wanted to show you guys something that I came all the way down here for is this right here. They've actually got the old school Simpsons game. 
which I believe came out in like 89 or 90, maybe a little longer. But check that out, you guys. It doesn't mu get much more old school nostalgia than that with Marge, Homer, Bart with the skateboard, and Lisa. One of my favorite games growing up. Absolutely loved The Simpsons. And I had all the games for Nintendo 2, Bart vs. Space Mutants. But yeah, you can tell with the picture as well from one of the first pictures of The Simpsons. Very cool. Love it. We've got all the guys on the bottom here. I love it. But definitely just an old school, old school relic. And I know they made a Simpsons pinball years later. And in fact, they even had a Simpsons uh, pinball before the one that everybody would get with all the figures inside. They actually made a pinball machine like in the 90s. But just incredibly awesome. And in fact, I think I even brought some quarters, so I'm going to give it a whirl here. It's been ages since I played it. But only 25 cents per play, you can't beat that. So let's get the camera set up here and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually play it here for just a second. Alright, so Homer! Nice. Actually, I think I'm gonna try and be Bart. Oh maybe they only let you be Homer. Oh I see. In order to play the other characters, you gotta put it in the appropriate slot here. So I actually wanna be Bart. Hi. Nice. second just to give you guys a gist of what it was like and then I'm gonna really go for it. I'll probably put the camera down for a minute here and really get into it. But as you can see Bart's got a skateboard there and you can hit the other guys and stuff and then as you go through it shows all the old iconic places. And you basically help rescue Maggie from Mr. Burns. And so I'm gonna let these guys have it. chance of winning but yeah check that out you guys the Simpsons old school arcade game right here at Wood Center another hidden Simpsons relic all right so I was just creeping through here and I was uh, going past journeys and one of the guys working said hey man I really dig your hoodie and I was like man did you check out the game just right down the way and he was like you need to check these out it's got the El Barto what is his vans yeah, with the El Barto, that are, oh my god, those are so sick. Check those out. Oh, and we got the El Barto Wanted picture too. Definitely through Journeys, which I'll leave links to. You guys make sure you check that out. Oh, we got them running away with the can too, look at that. I thought Millhouse was El Barto, no. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, just more Portland relics all over. Simpsons still, 30 years later. Love it. Well, I'm back home. Boy, that was a long creep. Definitely well worth it, though. It's cool to see a lot of those Simpsons things still creeping around Portland all these years strong. It's really sad that they... Maybe they just covered the Bart up for temporary um, at Lincoln High School. Like I said, the screenshots that you guys saw were from basically other times that I had been there in the past. Like I said, I've done a bunch of Simpsons vlogs, so after this, make sure you guys go back and check out 
where we met Mr. Burns. Uh, we crept up to Matt Groening's uh, old high school, went inside. It was really a good day. Um, probably one of the funnest days I've had doing this vlog in a long time. Uh, very thankful for that. Very thankful for Matt Groening and all of his creations through the years, all the inspirations that Portland's given him. Um, very thankful for all the connections and ties that I've had. I was able to uh, visit the Matt Groening's childhood home. We went to a Christmas party there. Um, just incredibly awesome how really small Portland is. Um, and if you think about it, uh, the Simpsons, like I said, it's so intertwined. Uh, but basically all that's left for me to do right now is just kick back and uh, just relax the rest of the night. I actually stopped off just to keep, keep things rolling for the vlog. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but Bart actually did some uh, Butterfinger commercials back in the 90s as well. So definitely going to stop off. Uh, well, definitely did stop off and have get me a Butterfinger. Now I'm going to sit back, probably watch some uh, old episodes of The Simpsons on the Tracy Allman show. I love those little skits. And I just want to thank you, Creeper, so much for creeping with. Uh, thanks again for Oscar today at Pioneer Square helping me find that Homer Simpson brick. That was way cool. Um, just thank everybody. I love you guys so much. Um, this is actually uh, three years now I've been doing this. Uh, July 4th will be the actual official three-year anniversary of this channel. But everybody that's been creeping since day one, all the new creeps, just everybody that's ever watched any one of my vlogs, I love you guys tremendously. Thank you very, very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love The Simpsons so much. Um, just... I can't believe how much incredibly cool Simpson stuff is still around town um, all these years later. But thanks again to, like I said, everybody that's tuned in, chimed in, left comments. Um, I love you creeps very much. So I'm going to sit back and uh, nobody better lay a finger on my butterfinger, man. <laughs> and just keep the nostalgia rolling. But until next time. Dang, no wonder why Bart liked these so much. Creeper out for now. Radical man.